When a user logs in, Stripe Callback creates a blank Stripe ID. I want to give that user a real Stripe ID. So open checkout views.py and copy from import Stripe on line 4 to stripe.api. Then open profilesmodels.py and paste on line 5. Go to the stripe.com URL API customers. Scroll down to create a new customer. And from the right panel, copy stripe.customer.create. Make sure Python is highlighted on the tab above. Open models.py and delete ID Stripe. Then type user underscore stripe underscore account. On line 32, type if user stripe account dot stripe underscore ID is none or user stripe account dot stripe ID equals equals an empty string, put a colon at the end, and then on a new line, put new stripe ID equals And then make sure you copy stripe.customer.create, paste that in, and we'll have new stripe ID equals stripe.customer.create email equals user.email. If the user does not have a stripe ID, or if the user has a stripe ID equal to an empty string, create a new stripe ID. and set it equal to new Stripe ID. The Stripe customer's email is set to the user's email. Stripe.customer.create sends back a response. So, and from the right panel, look at the example response. After running Stripe.customer.create, a JSON dictionary is returned. The JSON dictionary is composed of key value pairs. I need the value for ID. I'll set the user stripe underscore ID to the value of the ID from the response. So go back to models.py, type on the line 34, user underscore stripe underscore account dot stripe underscore ID equals new stripe id id and that id is from the json dictionary for the user so we'll get the real id and then we'll save that with user stripe account dot save on line 35 so when a user logs in stripe callback checks if the user has a user stripe. If the user does not have a user stripe, Stripe callback will create one. Stripe callback will then create a new stripe customer. If for this instance of the model, user stripe ID is an empty string, or if there is no stripe ID, Stripe callback will then set stripe ID to the new stripe customer's ID. Lastly, user stripe account.save saves the stripe ID. This might sound confusing, but the point of all of this is to make sure each user has a stripe customer ID associated with their account. So open save models.py and go to slash admin. Click on user stripes, click on your username, 
is Stripe ID is blank. Log out. Log back in. And go back to slash admin. Then click on user stripes. Click on the Stripe ID. This user now has a Stripe ID associated with their account. Go to your Stripe dashboard. From the left panel, click on Customers. I have a new Stripe customer with my user's email and Stripe ID. Right now, Stripe callback is connected to when a user signs in. I want Stripe callback to run when a user signs up. So go back to models.py and copy user signed up dot connect profile callback on line 44 and paste that on line 45 and delete profile callback and in its replace type stripe callback. And then open checkout views.py. First, I want to make sure I can get my user stripe ID from the user stripes model. So type print request dot user dot user stripe dot stripe ID go to slash checkout open terminal my user's stripe ID is printed Go back to checkout views.py. On line 13, delete print and type customer ID equals instead. Go back to Stripe's documentation. And this time we'll be at create charge. I want to be able to charge a customer. There's an argument called customer. The customer arguments assumes you already have the customer's credit card. So I need to save the customer's credit card. Go to this URL, which is the create card API. And from the right panel, copy customer equals stripe.customer.retrieve and customer.sources.create. Open checkout views.py and paste it in on line 18. and just reorganize it so it's tabbed in properly. And then delete this customer ID on line 18. And in its place, put in our customer ID variable. And on line 19, delete token and put in our token variable in its place. And then on line 23, delete source equals token. And in its place, type customer equals customer. Now, when a user fills out the checkout form, the credit card charge is associated with their Stripe customer ID and saved. So save views.py, go to slash checkout and fill out the form. So 42, 42, four times, a future date and any three digit number, hit submit form, Go to your Stripe dashboard. The payment went through. From the left nav bar, click Customers. Click on your user's email address. The payment was and credit card was successfully associated with my user. 